production visualization has been around for a while, but historically it's been more in the arena of the Jim Camerons and the Peter Jacksons. But the technology has now matured to the level where it's pretty much transparent uh, to any filmmaker that comes in to use it. Your actors come in in the morning, and instead of going to hair and makeup, they go put the mocap suit on. We're capturing body, face, voice, fingers, everything. There's a nexus for a lot of what we do in visualization. That nexus is Unreal Engine. It's the core target for things like the environments we build, the camera that we're simulating, the motion capture that we're capturing, all of these live events that are happening that a director is directing in real time, all of those performances get streamed live directly into Unreal Engine. Once this performance is laid down, it then becomes a template for all the other departments to work around. The production designer, the production department, the DP, they can all get information that they need, but it can be built around the performance that you've already captured. So the production designer can now design a set around the performance and the blocking that you've already built. Your DP can be working out his coverage, his angles, time of day, which can all be changed in real time, the lens lengths, which can all be changed in real time. Are you going to shoot spherical? Are you going to shoot anamorphic? All right, lads, keep it tight. Yeah, something don't smell right. What the hell? If you're putting together a rough cut of a scene, and you feel that there's a piece of coverage you're missing, it's very easy to go back in at that point because your performance already exists. So you can just shift the camera over a little, get the piece of coverage you need, and then drop that straight into the edit because it's all real time. Let's get out of here. Radio HQ, tell them. Who the f is everyone?